Hello everybody. I just had a really brilliant idea while I was like I was messing around with my non debuchet puzzles and I was thinking about my package on the way and all that kind of combined to make this one really brilliant idea that popped into my head. I don't know if it's brilliant because I just don't know. But the idea was to um Basically, you guys kind of control this, and then I have to do this. It's not a challenge video. It's related in the way that it works to a challenge video. It's just not. Okay, so, here it is. My idea is that with the vast majority of non shade puzzles that exist out there that are for sale... My idea is that you guys think of a non WCA puzzle and, that I don't have, and if 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 I do have it, uh, I will just tell you, I will just reply to your comment and tell you, hey look, I already have a Master Morphix, or I already have a Ghost Cube, or, or anything like that. Um, I will tell you, but basically... You guys choose non shape You guys basically choose a non shape puzzle from the cubicle that you think I don't have and that you think would be really hard to learn and then if I make sure I don't have it and it's not crazy, stupid easy like a um a one by one one by three by three then I will buy it and my challenge is to set a goal for myself, so either like a time goal or just some stupid goal if it's like stupid crazy then my goal is to like learn how to solve it and I have to try I have to try my best to solve it without a tutorial that's the catch if not then crazy bad keeper has a whole bunch of non WC um, puzzle tutorials but basically I have to try to learn how to solve it without my computer, my phone, or anything that'll give me any sort of clue on how to solve it. So, let's take, um, I don't know, the, I don't even know, let's just say a fisher cube because I don't have that, even though that could probably be easy. That is a 3x3 three three modification. So I could probably solve that without my computer, but I would not be able to look at any tutorial. But if it's like super, 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 super hard, like I don't, I don't even know anymore. Um, like a super, super hard cube. Let's just say that if it's like a really hard cube and I just do not know, I will look up an algorithm or two. And that's it. If I'm completely stumped, then it will be a failure video. And it probably won't be up. But, as long as I, as long as it's not stupid, stupid expensive, then I can probably get it and learn how to solve it. If it's a, a really cheap one like MF or you know, chi or something like that, and it's like really cheap, and it's a shape mod, then it's perfect for a video. Now, the only thing is, is if I get too much, then obviously I can't do all of it, um, because, I mean, I could, I could like all order it at once, but then that just causes a little bit of chaos because I have these, like, say I order three non WCA puzzles. Say I basically, I do one video and edit and post it. Then I have, then right after that I have to do another video and edit and post it. Another video, edit and post it. Because I'm the type of person who doesn't like stuff sitting in a box or something that never touched for the sake of you guys and your viewing 
So basically at the beginning of every single one of those videos it's going to be a little bit of an unboxing instead of just making an unboxing separate and the challenge first, uh, the challenge after. I'm just going to combine it because it's going to be like a five second unboxing. So that that's my big idea. So I'm actually going to show you some options that you can put down below or if you can think of harder ones that are also the same price. Whatever, I'm just going to show you some options. So first off, we have a cube style twist cube as an option. And that's a really good option because it's on sale. And it's got some weird um, center stuff I'm um, for certain and maybe some edge stuff as well. Now if we go back to the sale, it's always nice to get stuff on sale. Uh, I already have the floppy ghost cube coming. Um, but if you got something, if you put something like this, the Leaf on Mo Moyan 1 or whatever that is, then that would definitely be a hard option for a good price. It looks really hard just looking at it. Or you could choose the 2x3x4, that's also on sale, it's a pretty good price. It looks pretty hard. Or this Geocube. I I have seen unboxings of Geocubes, but I haven't really watched them all the way through to see how they work uh, for the sake of this video. And that's really all in here. So, if we just take a look at more puzzles and go to, say, Shape Mods, this is going to be a really good section. The Asymmetric Cube, I think just by looking at it, it looks like a mirror cube that's actually um like a regular three by three. Like with like regular three by three colors and stuff. The unicorn cube is out of stock. The Pandora cube looks awesome. I really, 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 really like the look of that since it looks like this cube. But it's a three by three. Uh the two, the time machine is a little bit on the expensive side and it looks really hard. Um, because I've seen stuff on that. The container cube, that also looks pretty fun to get, um, and solve. And then there's the barrel cube, I think that's just an octagonal barrel, so that won't really be one. Uh, the DNA cube looks like the cube test puzzle that I showed you at the beginning. It's just all one color, so I think that might be a little bit easier. Like I said, I still don't have a Fisher Cube. I have no idea what I'm doing um, without a Fisher Cube. And here's a carbon fiber version of the Moyan uh, 1. Or I'm just going to call that because I don't know what it actually is. I actually don't have a ready cube. And um, I don't know how to solve one. So the barrel ready cube would be even more of a challenge. Um, I mean, I get the general process, but, you know. The Ancient Coin Cube is a bit more on the expensive side for one puzzle. But it looks really cool and a little hard. These are all shape mods, so I should know um, what to relate it to. And I, I'm getting the Axis Cube. Um, this thing is really cool. Uh, this is more of on the expensive side and it's Calvin's. But you could definitely get that. Uh, Truncated 3D Star. Just like, put stuff down. Troy 3D Star. I think I saw those in Jerry Hebrew's national video when somebody was showing him a Land Land Mosaic Cube. That also looks pretty hard. And something like the Windmill Cube I don't have, the Diamond 3x3. The Clover Cube Plus. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Just naming some all any of the Geo Cubes. The Time Machine without numbers, I think. Yeah. This one is without numbers, so it might be a little bit easier. This looks like a monster and it's forty bucks. The MF8 uh Grillies 2. That looks like a monster. And it looks really hard to solve. And I don't know what I'm doing. The Disformed 3x3 Central Sphere. I've solved it before from one of my friends. But 
not, you know, I don't have it. So that also could be an option. And then the Son Mun, Son Mum Cube, that is very expensive for one cube, uh, and it's a non WCA, and it looks really hard. Like I don't even know how you turn those internals. And the Pender Super Three, I have seen uh, how that works and stuff. Um, no sticker mods, because that's kind of cheap. Um, not like, uh, money-wise, it's just not really hard to solve. Crazy Unicorn Cube looks expensive. The Lim Cube Frame 2x2 two two Pyraminx. I actually have never touched a 2x2 two two Pyraminx. But I imagine it'd be pretty easy. And then any of this, um, MFJS, uh, Mirror Cube modification stuff. And that's only a little bit of it. That's only one page of all the shape mods. So you could choose from any of those. And just please comment down below. Um, one or two. Uh, don't put like a whole list. And um, if it's the MF8 cubes that are really expensive, I'm only going to get them like single. Like I'll get that and then I probably won't be able to get anything for a while until I gain more money um, because I get uh, about forty dollars of a check a month um, so uh, for working but that's the thing if you get me to get a forty dollar cube I won't be able to get anything for probably another month it depends on when I order it but yes please comment down below your ideas and whether this is a good idea and it's going to be a good series or if it's just going to turn out terrible and I'm a horrible YouTuber. Um, uh, bye. I forgot to say in the video, but this is not stopping me from progressing in speed. I'm still completely speed solving almost all my time. This will only take up about mm, a small amount of my actual cubing time because there's only going to be about um one of these videos every two three weeks depending on the price of the cube at the time